a quick tutorial of just how to search video. Uh, so when you go to your NVR, you're going to see your camera's up like this. You can also change your view here, so I can do, right now I'm on like a view 4. I could do a view 8, I can do up to a view 16, which will show me all 16 cameras. On this NVR though, I only have 4 cameras connected to it, so it would just show me a bunch of black boxes right now. But let's say camera 2 here, I just double click that to full screen it. Camera 2 here, let's say we caught a car accident right here, and so we're going to be turning over the video to the authorities, but I don't know exactly when it happened and all that good stuff. So I have to find out exactly the window of time firsthand before I can back it up. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to travel on down here to that search. Search with that little magnifying glass here. Go ahead and click that. Your system will probably tell you to log in. Go ahead and log in with your normal credentials. And then it should pull up this screen right here. Okay, so now that we're at this screen, you have a calendar over here. This calendar is going to delineate what day you're looking at and what days you have available. So right now I have all the month of November available and I have Halloween available in October. So I can go all the way back to Halloween if I'd like. But we're going to say this accident happened on the 19th. So I'm going to select the 19th of November here. Then, like I said, we're working off of that second camera on here, so that's going to be channel 2. So I look here for the channel 2 and I select that so it knows what camera I'm looking at. Now if I go over here, I'm going to hit the play button, and it's going to pull up video from that camera. So now we're watching starting at uh, midnight on the 19th. Now if you look down here, this is your time bar that shows you all of the time that you're currently looking at. Right now we're looking at 24 hours of record time because we're just looking at the entire day. If I wanted to, I could come over here down to the bottom right. You can't quite see it in my frame here, but there are little magnifying glasses. If you click those, you can change it between 1 hour, 2 hour, or 24 hours. So let's say I know within a 2 hour window when it was probably going to be at. And we're going to look on this timeline here. And this timeline we see uh, like this yellow mark here. What that yellow delineates and lets us know is that the camera, it's color coded with this right here, picked up a moment of motion. So it knows that an event took place at this time. So if we click here, we can see that there's someone walking over here. It might be hard for you to see. There's somebody walking over here. The camera picked that up, traced that, and let us know that there was motion detected. So go over here, pause it. Now, say we are trying to sift through hours and hours of video. And we have, I mean, we just have no idea what it could be. Unfortunately, the camera I have set up right now on channel 2 doesn't have the ability set up to do what I'm about to show you. Some people will have this ability, some may not. Uh, if we go on here and we'll go to this camera, so right click, go on here to search. I said it took place on the 19th, except now we're going to do channel 4. Okay, so now we're looking at that 24-hour window. I'm going to say, well, I know that it happened around 11 o'clock. Alright. So here I am at 11 o'clock. Man, I just need to find everybody who walked in front of this dumpster for this event. And I just do not want to have to sit and sift through all of this video. Now, granted, I am live playing it right now, and if I come down here to fast forward, I can click it once, and it will speed up to twice the speed, click it again, I can do four times the speed, again, eight, and 
lastly, 16 here. So now I'm watching it at 16 times speed. Yeah, that is pretty quick, but I won't lie, if you're going to be sifting through 24 hours of video, it's still going to take a long time to get through 24 hours of video at 16 times speed. So if you look down here, there's this little button here that looks like a man running. If you hover your mouse over that, it should say Smart Search. Go ahead and give that a click. So now we have this grid pulled up here, and what this grid allows us to do is I want to see all the action that happened in front of this dumpster, so I can click here, and I can drag and create this little window that highlights just in front of that dumpster. Now, when I go down here after I drew my box, and I click this smart search again, what the system's going to do is it's going to go through all of the video that it recorded for that day that I had selected, and it's going to try to find any time that there was motion or activity within the area that I highlighted here on the screen. So I'm going to go down. I have a feeling it's not going to pick up anything, but we're going to try it anyway. So we see that it was leaving. We see a dog there. Apparently a dog was back there. And so those were our main emotion events for the 19th. That way, you don't have to sit and sift through and sift through. And you can see down here as they play exactly where they occurred. So you don't have to try to blankly find them on the fly. Now, if you're planning to back up this data, I would make sure wherever you found that, that you see where it was at in relation to the hours and on what day and on what camera. That way, when we go and we go to back up the file onto a flash drive, we know what we have to input in order to make that happen. To get out of this menu, all you simply have to do is go ahead and right click. Are you sure you want to exit? Yep. It'll take you back here so you could select a different camera or a different day. We're not going to do that. We're just going to right click again. It'll bring you back to the main menu here. And you're all set.